really shows the power of faithfulness um, in our lives. Both Melinda and I have learned to be faithful givers, and it's taken us a while to get there, but the, the Rooted campaign was sort of the culmination of that process for us. We started Rooted last October, and the folks that pledged pledged about $469,000. We have raised $256,000, so that's about 55% of what was pledged has already come in. And that's been a very consistent thing since last October. People have been just very consistently giving. And that's a two year process to, to raise that money. So at this point, we're right on schedule and things are going very well. Five, six years ago, a small group of us started meeting, you know, talking about the possibility of a church of our own, a building of our own, and, and whether that's where God wanted to lead us. And it's been a long process when you think about it. I think way back when we started, we, we were looking at different buildings around the towns here. I mean, we even looked at the old Paris Farmers Union, and then we were looking at the Grover building, and, and now we've kind of settled out here on High Street. But, you know, then the pandemic came, and, you know, stuff is late getting to us, so. Sometimes for those of us that aren't as patient, it, it, we kind of feel like the Israelites wandering around the desert now and saying, you know, are we there yet? So I think that goes back to, you know, God's faithfulness with us. And even though it may not go at the speed we want, he's slowly getting us where he wants us. Up to this point, we thought we'd already have a building kind of framed up and the, the outside structure would be all done and we ran into a number of issues. First, the steel didn't come when it was supposed to, and then we ran into a permit issue uh, with the state, and we're still waiting for that permit. But as we were waiting, we did a lot of our site work. Now, watching the other people that are part of the team, so watching them grow, and then seeing our church as a whole, the church body, with how consistent they've been in their giving and their faithfulness despite all we've been through the past couple of years. That's, that's really impacted Melinda and I a whole lot to watch that. One of the blessings of being able to do some of our site work is we've had a lot of people donate their time and their energy, their skills, and a lot of people that showed up who could drive dump trucks. And other machines, we've had folks who have donated fuel, we had folks who donated gravel, and that all equaled about $225,000 worth of work. And we spent about $15,000 to do that work, which means that donation and that energy and, and all the things that people have brought to the table uh, is valued at about $210,000 just in doing our site work and getting ready. Uh, so it's been a huge blessing to the church as a whole. The waiting has been really difficult for us because we really thought that in July, August at the latest, that we'd be putting a steel structure up for the church building. And at first it was really frustrating to realize that the building wasn't gonna come on time. And then we found out from the state that we needed some permits that nobody had told us anything about. It just was really discouraging. But in the middle of that, God led us to an engineer who was able to do the work that we needed in a very timely manner so that we could get it into the state. We were able to do other site work that we hadn't planned on doing. And God's timing is always perfect. And in the middle of all of that going on, the prices of building materials skyrocketed. And so even some of the materials that we would have needed would have made it so we couldn't do as much on the building. And you can see God's hand in all of that because where we're sitting right now, those lumber prices have dropped back down and they're starting to stabilize. The sheet goods that we're gonna need, uh, those prices have started to stabilize. We wouldn't have been able to do as much had we put the building up when we wanted to in the first place. And like so often happens, I think God's hand of protection was on us and he knows best. And so he put a few roadblocks in the way and just told us to be patient and wait. He also provided for us as we waited. We were able to do church in the yard at the administration building, set up a stage, and people came there and had a great summer. And then now he's given us a place inside again. We're in the flagship cinema building and having a great time worshiping there together. And folks are, are coming back and, and being drawn together and, and enjoying their time. So we've learned a lot in the middle of this period of waiting. We're not really planning a church. We already have our church, our body of believers. This is really a physical manifestation of that church. So 
By having physical roots, it gives us a place that's our home, um, that we can reach out to the community. It gives us a place to provide services, whatever those are, to, to people in the community. So I think that's the big thing, is, is having a, a location where we can gather the community. And, and by doing that, we can expose them to the good news and share with them um, what God means to us and what he's given to us. The steel company that we're working with out of uh, Colorado has reached out to us and let us know that production has started back up. They're trying to get buildings out quickly which means that their first timeline for us was early next spring, uh, 2022. And they called us last week, talked to us and let us know that, that that will be sped up some. The one prayer request that comes with that is we still don't have our permits from the state and we're waiting on the state fire marshal to stamp the plans that were submitted by our engineers. So that's the one thing that we're still in a waiting game and we're asking God just to provide as, as the time is right. So when the steel building comes, we can get the foundation in and get going. So we're looking at that happening early next spring and uh, just asking for God's timing in that and, and asking for God to use us in the middle of that, uh, that we would just be willing to wait and trust him.